Hey guys, on Advisor Insights today, we want to talk about two Utah companies that we've put head to head on their latest product. That is the Phone Scope and the Phone Cam. It's crazy to think both of these companies are based out of Utah, just north of us here. So we argue about this a lot. Which one is better? Which one do we like? I actually prefer the Phone Scope. I've used that pretty much my whole time I've Digiscoped. I've always been a Phone Scope believer. And Isaiah here, tell us about yours. I prefer the phone cam because it's a nice small ring that I can keep on my phone at all times. They make specific uh, caps for your spotting scopes, optics, and they also make the universal adapter that you can use on anything. So, And it's aluminum. It's not going to break. Aluminum. So check this out. On our recent hunt in Idaho, it was windy, it was cold, and we were glassing some deer and some moose, and we put them together head to head. Right. First off, we have the phone cam here. As you can see, it comes with a little aluminum tab that just has an adhesive piece that you can stick on to any case. It comes with its own case, but I like to run uh, the one I have, so I just suck it onto this. And then it has its universal adapter, which basically these three tabs in here adjust in and out depending on the eyepiece you have. So you can run it on pretty much anything. Then it just threads on right here. So, get it on whatever you want to, and then spin it counterclockwise to lock it down. And you're good to go. Has a nice full field of view on that, unlike some if you're out of tilt, it shows black around the rim, but this thing locks down evenly, so you get the nice clear picture. So this is the phone scope. Right, you've seen phone scope before. What's interesting about this system is it's built for your phone. So here I have the Google Pixel 3. You buy the case from phone scope. It fits your phone. Nice case. It's got some rubber in it. I mean, I run this as an everyday case. Okay, it doesn't have any weird circle attachments or anything on my phone. It doesn't affect that. Then you've also got another piece. This turns it into phone scope this is your circle piece if you will since the camera's in the corner like most of you iPhone lovers you're gonna have this big circle if you can't remove it but this little piece clips in so when you're going hunting you're gonna clip this piece in and just leave it in when that clicks into place your camera is now centered then you buy the ring that's specific to your spotting scope binoculars whatever you're putting it on so this fits my vortex razor 85 and one simple quarter turn, and it's locked into place. You'll see some guys run this ring on their spotter. That's annoying to me. It hits your face if you're glassing. So I always just keep it on my phone. Makes it easier to lock it into place. So simply take it. It's ready to go. It's made to fit. Suction's over just nicely. Camera's in the center. It's as easy as you can make it. So you hit your camera. If it doesn't appear to be quite in the center, usually it just takes a little adjustment on how it sets down there where it's just a suction. And if you're on higher power, it's more difficult you know, to get it in the center. But once it's in the center, like it is with this moose, you're good to go. I like to zoom in just a little bit, not too much as it's a digital zoom on your phone. Come over here to video mode, whatever you're gonna do, hit record and we're filming the moose. To take it off, just twist the suction, kind of comes off. It's made to fit real tight. So I've, I've ran the phone scope for years. It's the easiest solution for me. Um, it's not universal. So you'll see with the other competitor, is a universal fit. Phone scope does make a universal one, but I prefer to have a ring for every optics that I run. So I keep them right here in my optics Velcro case. So I got binoculars, other spotter we're trying, and this ring. So simply by switching out the ring, I can go from binoculars to spotter, vice versa. But if you want to have a universal, you got to get the universal ring. So that's phone scope.